Hi everyone, Joshua Stuck here with another Woodsy Dude video. Today I'm going to show you how you can take an aluminum can and turn it into your very own little survival whistle. Stay tuned. All right, so the things that you're going to need for this is simply a, an aluminum can and something to cut the can with. So if you have some kind of a knife, you can use scissors. If you're doing this at home, um, if you're out in the field, then you probably would use some kind of a knife. Otherwise, you could tear the aluminum can, but that requires a little bit more skill and patience and practice. So this is something that you're definitely going to want to practice ahead of time before just trying it out for the very first time um, out in the wilderness. So to start out with, we're going to cut two pieces off of our aluminum can. One of them is going to be two inches in length and a half an inch wide. And the other one is going to be about three quarters of an inch in length and again a half inch wide. So I'm going to set these aside and we'll do that real quick. I, I like to go right here on the flat part here and I like to follow one of these lines and just carefully cut along. Then I like to cut down the side And then I like to cut the bottom off. By doing that, by cutting off the top and the bottom, you then can end up with a long flat piece of aluminum and it's easier to work with. So I usually take this and then I would rub it on the side of a log, in this case, the side of my table and curl it in both ways to kind of get it to lay more flat like that. So now, like I said, I want one piece that's about two and a half inches long and a half inch wide. And these are not exact measurements. So this is pretty rough along here. So I'm gonna just take my knife and I'm gonna run it along here and clean up that edge. So now I've got a nice straight edge. Please be careful with the aluminum. It, when you're cutting these sharp edges or these edges like this, they end up getting quite sharp. So now I'm gonna move over about a half an inch and I'm gonna carefully slice down here. I'm gonna guess about two inches right here. So that's my one piece. I don't think this piece right here is big enough for my second piece. It's close, but I'd like to cut a new one just to make sure. So I'm gonna set this one aside. I'm going to cut a new piece here. Clean off this edge. And then I'm going to guess that that's about three quarters of an inch or so. And now I have my two pieces that I want. Here's how this goes for making your whistle. To start out with, we're going to take the little piece and lay it across the longer two inch piece and make this kind of cross shape here. And then I'm going to carefully fold the sides around that longer piece. Don't wanna smash this down super flat because we want a little bit of a gap right there because that's what we're gonna be blowing through. 
we want a little tiny tab sticking up right here so this is what it looks like on the back side we just folded these over and now we're going to take this little piece right here and we're going to fold that back like this to hold it in place so what we have now is we have that little gap there we have it folded over the edge and we have the two sides folded in so it's smooth on top here folded around on both sides and that's tucked up underneath this little tab that we just made right there so now we take this whole part this end that's still sticking out here and we're going to fold this so here's here's the where we're going to blow in here's the folded over parts now what we're going to do is we're going to take this part here and we're going to fold it straight down so it makes a right angle right there okay and here here comes the fun part we're going to take this part that we just folded down straight and we're going to kind of start to curl it because we want to curl this around just like this and in order to get this to whistle properly you're going to be holding it so that this part at the top here comes up and you're pinching it on either side that that seals up the sides of your whistle like this and we want we need a gap in the back here and we need a gap right here and so we're going to line this all up pinch it with our fingers on either side like this so it kind of looks like a gym teacher whistle okay and then you have a very loud survival whistle just that simple so I'm Joshua Stuck with another Woodsy Dude video. Thanks for watching and happy whistling. Bye.